Beatrice and Virgil, 2010, an allegorical novel by acclaimed Canadian writer Jan Martel, offers a unique perspective on the representation of the Holocaust through the eyes of a novelist who encounters two taxidermy animals named Beatrice and Virgil. Martel, renowned for his internationally best-selling novel Life of Pi and recipient of the Man Booker Prize, brings his background in philosophy into his literary work. However, Beatrice and Virgil faced a lukewarm reception from both critics and readers alike. The story revolves around the protagonist, Henry Lote. Rather than being divided into chapters, the book adopts a dramatic format, creating a narrative that reads like a play within a novel. Henry is a novelist who achieved success with one book but struggles to sell his subsequent work. He approaches his publishers with a concept centered on the Holocaust, but they show little interest. Unable to articulate the idea clearly or decide whether to approach it as fiction or non-fiction, Henry fails to impress his publishers, who believe they cannot market a concept that the writer himself cannot define. They urge him to come up with a different idea. Henry is devastated by this rejection as he longs to delve into the subject of the Holocaust. He feels a sense of frustration that he did not adequately capture its essence and regrets missing the opportunity to create a significant literary work. Disheartened, he decides to step away from writing and relocates to a new city. There, he immerses himself in various activities to occupy his time, such as exploring music, joining a theater group, and caring for pets. His life takes a positive turn as his wife, Sarah, becomes pregnant, and he secures a job at a cafe. Henry also finds fulfillment teaching music, particularly the clarinet, and assisting an amateur theater troupe. Nevertheless, in the background of his seemingly contented life, Henry's thoughts are consumed by the Holocaust and the book he knows he will never publish. Despite having only published one book, Henry receives a considerable amount of fan mail, which he diligently responds to. Among the letters, one from a taxidermist catches his attention, piquing his curiosity. He man tracks down Henry because he seeks guidance and assistance with his own writing endeavors. This mysterious taxidermist is struggling to craft a play featuring two central characters, a donkey named Beatrice and a monkey named Virgil. Initially, Henry is hesitant to get involved. His confidence in his own abilities has waned, and he recognizes that he lacks expertise as a playwright. Nevertheless, the allure of writing proves irresistible, and Henry eventually agrees to help. He is also intrigued by the fact that he and the taxidermist share the same first name and both explore the realm of animals imbued with human traits. The taxidermist provides a glimpse into the plot, explaining that Beatrice and Virgil must confront and reconcile with the traumas they have endured in their past, yet they remain uncertain about where to begin. Henry is uncertain about how to interpret this, especially since the taxidermist withholds additional details. All he discerns is that the story is connected to or inspired by the Holocaust. The taxidermist remains reticent about his own life, background, and journey to becoming a playwright. Nevertheless, Henry senses a profound connection with the taxidermist, interpreting it as a sign that he will have an opportunity to explore the Holocaust through his writing. However, it doesn't take long for Henry to suspect that there is more to the taxidermist than meets the eye. The way the taxidermist wishes to portray the story and the disturbing content he incorporates lead Henry to believe that the taxidermist may possess first-hand knowledge of controlling a concentration camp. Although the taxidermist vehemently denies this allegation, tensions escalate between them. Henry grapples to comprehend why the taxidermist seeks his assistance when it is evident that he possesses a clear vision for the play. Before Henry can delve further into this puzzling dynamic, Tragedy strikes when his beloved pets, a dog and a cat, both pass away. Overwhelmed with grief and frustration over his inability to save them, Henry feels his life unraveling. At this juncture, tensions between Henry and the taxidermist reach a boiling point, and Henry's anger is directed towards the taxidermist. He taxidermist, instead of clarifying the situation, offers Henry additional scenes to contribute to the play, urging him to focus on the task at hand. However, as Henry delves deeper, he discovers undeniable evidence that the taxidermist was complicit in the atrocities of the Holocaust. Filled with rage and horror, Henry's emotions escalate, and he becomes violent. Just as he is about to act on his anger, the taxidermist unexpectedly stabs him in an act of self-defense. Despite being wounded, Henry manages to survive the attack and hastily departs to seek help. 
Determined to alert the authorities and receive the necessary medical attention, he leaves the scene. The taxidermist observes his departure without attempting to hinder him. Then, in a devastating turn, the taxidermist sets fire to his own taxidermy shop, ultimately taking his own life. Physically recovering from the stab wound, Henry's mental state is profoundly disoriented. He struggles to recollect the details of the play and finds it challenging to recreate any part of it. The only action he can take is to follow the taxidermist's suggestion and finish one scene, explaining that it is his first completed work since facing rejection. Beatrice and Virgil has faced significant criticism for its alleged trivialization of the Holocaust. While some argue that Martel's intention was to demonstrate the inherent impossibility of capturing the magnitude of such a historical event in writing, others assert that the novel falls short in its portrayal and handling of the subject matter. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.